Welcome to another edition of the Nightly News, Ted. Very distressing news coming down. Uh, very distressing news coming out of Arizona. Uh, there's allegations being made that the cartels were bribing virtually every, I don't want to say everyone, but a lot of the elected officials in Arizona, including Katie Hobbs, the uh, recently uh, sworn in governor of Arizona, um, and, and many other state representatives up and down the tickets down there. Um, I don't know, but it's pretty distressing, Ted, and it might explain some of the problems that are going on in Arizona and other border states. What's your take? Well, the great sheriff, the American sheriff, the great Joe Arpaio is a dear friend of mine, and he has kept me abreast of these uh, deteriorating conditions in the great state of Arizona for the last 25 years or more. And I'm in touch with those uh, sheriffs and law enforcement heroes. They're warriors in Arizona, and they see this happening all the time. So we can call it allegations, but there's nothing worse in America than American elected employees becoming gangsters because of the greed and the enrichment by looking the other way towards the assault and the attack and the invasion of our country. So those border states, even my governor, Greg Abbott here in Texas, I shake my head when I keep witnessing his uh, uh, press conferences that he's processing invaders and that he's we're, we're working on legislation here in, in Texas. I'm going to do a rally uh, at the I think the last week of April in Austin, Texas, where we've we've written legislation and it's going forward that we're going to create a border force. So it's 2023 and we're just now pursuing laws to secure the border of Texas. Mm. This is how lame our elected employees have got as if there's not already many laws on the books that were supposed to secure the borders of our nation. Without right. secure borders, you haven't got a nation, which right now, in March of 2023, we're not even a nation. There's, you know, there's uh, groups and there's conservative cities and there's conservative zones. If you look at a map of America, it's almost all red, except for the feces and needles, high crime out of control and homelessness and pure rot, uh, the, the torching of tax dollars and those little blue smudges where Democrats run things. So this doesn't surprise me at all. You know, there are some great, great documentaries on this crazy satellite television uh, capabilities nowadays where some really hardcore journalists, I think there's five in the world, um, have been pursuing the truth. And you can see the power of greed the power of the mexican drug cartels as americans keep spending their weekends getting high because it's a victimless crime except for all the deaths and all the destroyed families and all the ruined lives it's not a victimless crime when you get high you're, you're actually paying the mexican drug cartels to decapitate somebody and invade our country and buy off politicians to abandon their oath to the u.s constitution somebody might want to transcribe this nightly news again and send it out in a flyer getting high isn't about you getting high is about financing the most evil gangs in, in the world and it's not just the mexican drug cartels and the taliban it's our own government now i believe there's a direct correlation a parallel inescapable between the explosion of fentanyl destroying america killing hundreds of thousands of Americans by the communist Chinese bringing this fentanyl in through Joe Biden's open door policy and the bribing of border state officials to kill Americans. When you're getting high, it's not a victimless crime. When you get high, you're killing people. Have a nice day. You know what, Ted, the the story as it's told, you know, and again, like you said in the Murdoch trial, innocent until proven guilty, which, by the way, he was found guilty. But um, we'll call innocent until proven guilty down there in Arizona. But the story comes out. It's 40 different government officials and or their spouses down there involved. And I don't know if you've seen this, Ted. Spring break is starting in some places and it's going to ramp up here in the next uh, week and two week or two. Um, but already. Uh, we're hearing about Americans being kidnapped by the cartels. Um, they don't know where a few of these people are, assume ransom or, or death. I mean, 
I just don't understand why our federal government isn't taking these cartels serious. Final word. Well, to answer your question, Keith, the evidence is irrefutable. You can't get away from it if you're paying attention. You're not stoned. The government of the United States of America is in bed with our enemies in the Communist Chinese Party. The government of the United States of America, and only the guilty need to feel guilty. And I have a funny feeling there's a lot of squirming going on out there throughout our government because there's a lot of guilt to go around. And if you are not stopping the invasion of America with the communist Chinese chemical warfare of fentanyl and methamphetamine and all the and cocaine and marijuana and hashish and all this stuff so you can get comfortably numb. <sighs> It, it breaks my heart, Keith, because if and now here's a little Uncle Ted tech tip. Don't spend your hard earned money in Mexico. Mexico is the enemy. Well, nothing happened at this resort. Well, yes, it probably has. But maybe you got lucky and it didn't happen while you were there. If you go to Mexico and my my family members, my friends, my dearest friends, I'm going to Cabo Wabo. I'm going. So you want to bring money into Mexico that all ends up in the hands of the murderous rape, torture, kill Mexican drug cartels. Rape, torture, kill. When you go down there and you have your margarita on a Mexican beach, part of that money for that margarita and your hotel and your travel and your money and your trinkets, it goes to rape, torture, and murder. I hope you're having a nice vacation. Very powerful stuff tonight, Ted. Tomorrow, I want to talk about another topic that you and I talk about a lot uh, on the show and then in person. Some way, somehow, the infrastructure of America is being intentionally torched. Another train derailment to talk about, another food plant burnt. Let's talk about that tomorrow night right here on The Nightly Nooch. Yeah, let's investigate the cultural derailment of America. Thanks a lot, Pete Buttigieg.